Welcome friends, in this one let's take a look at some examples of graphing surfaces in three-dimensional space. So imagine I begin with x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Now that would be an object, a circle, in two-dimensional space. Because you would take an x, you would take a y, you would check whether the left side equals the right side, of a value of 1. But if we do this, if we add, for example, another condition like z equals 2, and this is a little bit different. It's different for the following reason. Let me draw this out. Let me draw a small coordinate system here as follows. There's an axis going this way. There's an axis going this way. And there's an axis going this way. Now look at this very carefully. See, at first, you would just have x squared plus y squared equals 1. That would just be a circle in the xy plane that kind of roughly would look like the following. Let me position it better here. So it would look like this. That's a circle in the xy plane. The radius, say, is 1. But because this says z is equal to 2... What you have to do is you have to take this circle and you have to move it up to here, for example. And now let's identify a point that makes this true. So you have to be kind of careful here. If you take this point right here, for example, this point, let's be more careful. Take this right here and then move it up to here, you see? So it's basically the following point. It's the point where x is 0, y is 1, and then z is positive 2. Like that. It makes the first equation true and it makes the second one, z equals 2, also true. 0 squared plus 1 squared is 1, checks. 2 equals 2, checks, you see? Grab another point just to test this out, for example, like this point right there. So, what are the coordinates of that point? You have the following then right here. You would have, that's the next value if you look down to the x-axis of 1, a y value of 0, and again a z value of 2. That makes the equation true. 1 squared plus 0 squared is 1. So the first equation is true, and then 2 equals 2 is also true. So that's what it looks like thus far. You see, it's a circle, and the plane z equals 2. If you take some interior point here, like for example this point where the circle meets the z-axis, let me label these. Remember, this is x, this is y, and this is here z. So at that point in the middle, are the equations satisfied? Well, the z-coordinate is 2, so 2 is equal to 2. That is satisfied. However, is the other one satisfied? Let's calculate that off to the side here. So you have to plug it in and check it, in other words. 0 squared plus 0 squared. Well, that clearly is not equal to 1. So that means that the point at the center of the circle along the z-axis does not make the two constraints, z equals 2 and x squared plus y squared equals 1, true. That makes only one of them true. So this is one possibility to consider. Let's look at another example now. It looks like the following. Similar, but different still. Again, draw a coordinate system. So draw an axis this way, draw an axis going up this way, and then draw an axis this way. Within here, we're going to do the following now. Let me make this one in this color here, okay? You have again a circle. Let's write down a different equation with this. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. z can be anything. It's different from the previous one for the following reason. Because z can be anything, it's like taking this circle, displacing it parallel to itself. There's no restriction on z. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm taking this circle, I'm displacing it, in this case in a vertical dimension, but I could also do it in the other dimension going straight down. You see the difference? Like this. And then each circle is at a different value of z. In other words, each one passes a different, you know, z equals k plane, like k equals, for example, 1 would be the plane through z equals 1. k equals 2 would be the plane through z equals 2, and so on. And then you can kind of continue this up and up and up. It really should be, have no gaps there between the circles, which means ultimately what it would look like would be a surface that's a cylinder this way. You see this? Like this. It would be a cylindrical-looking surface. Let's just make sure we understand something. Take a point on this surface somewhere. So I could take this point right there. On the wall of the surface, that is. It could have coordinates like this one. Because basically that point is right above the y-axis. It would be an x value of 0, a y value of 1, and let's say z, a z value there of maybe 2. And it would make this true because the following is true. 0 squared plus 1 squared is 1. 1 equals 1 is true. Z can be anything including 2. Take another one, for example, right here from this side. So there, if you take a point, it might be a point that looks like the following. 
that's above the negative y-axis. So let me kind of sketch this in here actually. So negative, the negative y-axis would kind of look like this. So you're going through here. The only thing is that the circle should be in front of it. Just keep that in mind. So in other words, you have to be careful when you sketch these to be suggestive of the right behavior of the object. So kind of, you see, this should cover that. Okay, but imagine the surface that we're generating is a kind of semi-transparent. So you kind of still see through it. So that point there would be, for example, something like an X value of 0, a Y value of negative 1, and say a Z value, and then count up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, for example. I would make this equation true because 0 squared plus negative 1 squared is still 1. That's made true. Z can be anything, including 5. So when you take a circle, when you don't have a condition on Z, then you take the circle, you displace it parallel to itself, basically up and down. The result, a trace, is basically a cylinder. And then these are some of a couple different points that satisfy the constraint expressed by the equations there. All right, friends, that is it for this one. So... Thank you so much for watching, friends. Please leave a like, please subscribe. I will see you in another video.